So my friend Anselm uh, emailed me asking if the touch bar and Vim was a nightmare. So here's me trying to show um, how it is uh, with this awkward mount. Let's, uh, let's do it, right? Um, so here goes. Let's launch Vim. Let's launch Vim. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this is where it gets a bit confusing right here. Like, you see this thing? This is in the indicator of my, my screen record. Um, yeah. So, now, even though I'm focused on the terminal here, it's not showing escape. Okay, alright. Now it's gone there. So, it's like, I had to, like, press, ex hit the side twice okay so as you well know oh whatever I insert mode and for Vim users you have to hit escape to get outside insert mode and yeah um, when touching this you can touch the edge well it is bad <laughs> to be honest it's bad Yep, it's bad. I can't, I was gonna say it's okay, but but just the fact that I, I had the problem with the quick time there um, made it a little bit like mm, what's going on, guys. Um, well, luckily I I have my Arsenix machine. I don't have to bother with this stuff. Oh, on the um, on the topic of uh, I don't know terminals and whatnot. Uh, I did find the options that, that it gives you here a bit strange. Look at this. You, what's the point in doing that? Can someone tell me? I go. Okay. Oops. Now it's gone away. What? what what's the point in going up? What's the point of that, guys? And okay, this this thing is. I mean, yeah. I'm not too sure what that's about either. Changing the color of your uh, of your terminal. Um, I'm surprised they don't offer transparencies because every cool idiot likes to have a transparent terminal. Um, and bookmarks. That's another thing I haven't quite figured out. I guess it's something to do with like knowing which terminal you're in or something. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure. But yeah, the MacBook Pro for um, for for developers. Is, is a bit of a joke for me. It, there's only one choice, Arch. Sorry guys.